Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome students to the online NPTEL course on uh, of uh, visual communication design for digital media. In uh, previous uh, module, we started discussing about the uh, design uh, generic design me methodology. We will continue that and we will discuss what are the uh, generic design methodologies, uh, 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 broad design methodology is. In that, we are mainly focusing on the graphics and uh, web application design because animation is a little, uh, the methodology for the animation and game design is a little different. So uh, later also, is, uh, later uh, we will uh, discuss each, each and every paradigms of uh, um, digital media design in uh, detailed fashion. So uh, there we will uh, discuss about animation and um, animation uh, and web design and graphics design uh, separately with their detailed uh, methodologies. So in uh, visual design process of uh, a generic visual design process. First, here in the diagram, you can see. Uh, so we uh, generally follow four steps. First is uh, orientation, uh, so aligning or understanding the user, and uh, orientation also is like an, um, uh, understanding what kind of uh, design brief that is, what is the need of the design, what purpose it should fall, um, fulfill. Then uh, uh, collecting um, uh, and also it is uh, talking about collecting all the data about the user, all the data about the what kind of style, what kind of um, color we are following and creating a uh, creating an uh, idea about what the design will be. And then uh, next phase is analysis. Analysis is uh, can be in terms of uh, user analysis, analyzing what kind of what is the user's need. Uh, what they expect um, uh, in terms of visual communication and uh, it can also be a visual analysis. Uh, for example, if we have a predefined uh, set of uh, what we want to achieve or look board or the mood board and from that we had to analyze what kind of um, uh, salient features it have, what kind of uh, uh, visual uh, we can derive and what kind of uh, line qualities, what kind of color we have to extract from that. So we can create a uh, color palette and all these um, 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 elements and we can specify these things uh, in uh, during the analysis part. And then we start proceeding towards the concept design. That is the first stage of design where the uh, design will be in very conceptual level. It will be low fidelity or the initial designs and we can also have two, three different concepts which is like multivariate uh, um, concepts. So uh, we can also test, uh, we can call this uh, alpha, beta and uh, uh, gamma, these uh, different uh, low fidelity design and we can test these designs with the user again and then uh, uh, identify uh, whether the concepts were um, uh, uh, has uh, needs some improvement or uh, there uh, we can go ahead with the concepts and then we uh, start moving towards the fi finalizing the design or implementation where with um, adding more detail into it and going away with uh, go, uh, uh, go, uh, deleting the uh, um, problems and then uh, uh, and iterations and uh, to towards the more uh, high fidelity design prototype. So in ori orientation is the process of becoming familiar with the assignment in terms of graphic design, the problem, uh, understanding the problem, what kind of, uh, uh, for what kind of brand we are working with, what kind of uh, users we are dealing with and gathering all the informations together is the orientation process. So in orientation process, it is uh, here uh, you can see there are three things. One is understanding the client or organization or product. So if we are working for a brand identity uh, creation, we need to understand uh, what kind of uh, uh, brand is that and what is our cli client's need. And then also we have to understand the user, what kind of set, what user set uh, we are working with. So uh, we will discuss about um, how to uh, uh, identify the who is our real target audience or the user through um, different processes, different tools and techniques like uh, par, uh, generating persona, creating scenarios and um, uh, doing ethnographic survey and how uh, to understand user in a better way. 
So segmentation, persona uh, generation, scenario building and all these things are uh, uh, there. So understanding also the in, uh, scenario will come in the next phase uh, which is understanding the interface be between the user and product. So first we have to understand the product or the cli client and the, that set and then we have to understand the user and what is the interaction between them. Scenario is like that. So scenario uh, means how uh, depicting a particular uh, context where user is coming um, uh, uh, with the product. So, how user are uh, dealing with the product. Uh, it can be uh, uh, depicted in terms of a storyboard scenario um, uh, each and every uh, set uh, each and every interaction with the uh, um, product and user can be uh, depicted with a storyline uh, uh, as a narrative or it can be uh, depicted with a running uh, paragraph. So, uh, as if, uh, for example, a scenario for a website will be um, for a particular user, um, uh, um, a website of a, e, um, uh, of a flight booking site will be uh, a particular user wants to book a uh, uh, fl uh, flight through uh, a particular website and uh, uh, it can be um, we can uh, detail it further like but um, they can uh, the, uh, the user can user wants to book a uh, flight in uh, multi city mode or it can be in um, two way so these are different kind of scenarios and the another scenario of the same visa uh, user with the same uh, website can be uh, they want to check the uh, their frequent flyer mileage uh, or they uh, through the same website they want to uh, book a hotel so they are, they are different scenarios but the user set uh, same here and the um, uh, brand or the uh, product is also same that is a, a flight and hotel booking site so uh, here we can see some examples like uh, understanding the users so user uh, it can be also depicted uh, with some photographs uh, so from that we can start ideating uh, for our um, uh, design as well. So, users are saying something like uh, what they want to see and what uh, for that we uh, also understand the user in a better way. So, next is the analysis and uh, also after analysis we also formulate the design strategy. So, uh, the strategy is the core uh, tactical um, thing from uh, based on that we will uh, uh, f find out what is the uh, um, the conceptual design uh, uh, will be formulated based on the strategies and anal uh, analysis. So that gives us a complete understanding of design brief. Initially, we were also discussing about the double diamond method of uh, Donald Norman. So analysis is the end point of the first diamond uh, uh, where we exactly pinpoint what is the need, what is the problem. So, uh, after analysis, uh, the first diamond ends and we clearly de define what we are going to, uh, uh, what, 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 is the, uh, what is the problem we need to solve. After that again we start diverging in the uh, second diamond of the double diamond uh, method, method which we have just uh, discussed in the previous um, lecture. So, in that again we start uh, uh, diverging in the um, uh, process, so uh, where we start uh, identifying different model what will be uh, the next strategy which is the concept design. So, orientation is the first phase of the diamond where, where we uh, start our, our understanding the user start understanding all this um, uh, yeah, users problem and the analysis is where we start um, thinking about what is exactly our um, users need. So, here we are converging and pinpoint uh, we do pinpoint a particular uh, problem and concept generation again we diverge and generate different concepts and test with that and Im, uh, during implementation stage we select a particular uh, the optimum solution. So, uh, the implementation is a diverge, uh, converging uh, part of the last diamond. Yeah, so in analysis uh, or uh, strategy formulation, uh, here uh, is a example. Uh, we can see the example of analysis from a uh, design product as well. It can directly translate there. So it's uh, talking about uh, uh, it, it's in uh, uh, the little monster. It's a brand which is uh, talking, uh, which is targeted uh, for the kids. So here in the analysis, they mu must have uh, fixed some some kind of particular. Um, uh, users need for example they uh, the user um, is particularly uh, 
uh, the uh, uh, kids they like vibrant colors and they are uh, affi uh, they have some affinity and they ha have some uh, liking towards the different kind of mon uh, monsters which they um, uh, see uh, in uh, different animated movies and all these things which uh, they like so what do they like what they uh, their li uh, likings in uh, terms of color what they um, likings in terms of um, characters and other things they have uh, designers have analyzed and that product is translated in the uh, translating that analysis part of uh, their color palette and um, all these things into the final product. So, in conceptual design, uh, it has uh, uh, four steps one is the preparation, so, gathering all the materials together. Uh, to uh, uh, design the concept, uh, uh, to start with the conceptual design, then uh, we have to incubate and we have to sensitize our, um, uh, ourselves through uh, different models like uh, mind mapping and other similar models, which has been discussed earlier. And then uh, we have to illuminate ourselves. We have to enlighten ourselves about the material palettes. What kind of um, uh, to trigger with the idea. So, uh, for example, in the mind map also all these words which uh, which is generated from the mind map will trigger our ideas to go creative and uh, start designing something new. And then uh, verification process also is the end um, in the final stage of the conceptual de uh, design process. So, uh, after conceptual design uh, we will have lot of multiple uh, uh, options, we should create lot of different options. and taste that uh, with the user and we can also um, uh, verify with some focus group discussion about the experts. So, experts can also verify in terms of animation and game design and we, in terms of new design where the product does not exist. Then the experts uh, opinion and the uh, people who, who are sound with um, the knowledge of the domain will verify that. Otherwise, uh, we can bring it to the user and user can test and user can uh, we can go with the usability testing for the verification and just before the implementation of the um, final design. So, in the preparation st um, 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 stage, we uh, have uh, to generate a mood board, which uh, we um, uh, I was just discussing. So, in mood board, we have to uh, uh, jot down all these uh, sets, which uh, uh, all these color palettes, which we de um, have de um, derived from the um, analysis part. Uh, so, so, mood board can also be designed in the analysis part. So, wh while we are doing the analysis, we uh, start jotting down all these things and create a mood board. And mood board is the starting phase of the conceptual de uh, design start. So, uh, it is not like uh, mood board is um, whether it is there in the conceptual phase or in the an analysis phase, it evolves from the analysis phase and it is uh, um, and uh, the concept uh, generation starts from the mood board. So, mood board uh, is where we uh, it is like a collage and uh, where we um, put all the color palettes which we developed from the analysis um, uh, phase and what kind of color we want to uh, uh, use in the design and what kind of typefaces, what kind of imageries. Uh, we all create a um, uh, we um, um, uh, take everything together and create a collage. So, from that we start designing our uh, first conceptual idea. So, also there is uh, are other uh, tools and techniques for example, card sorting to understand the user better and uh, to create after understanding the user and uh, to create the information architecture. Card sorting is uh, more to towards uh, like uh, translating the user need into the co first concept generation stage. So, in uh, bottom up approach or in uh, participatory approach of design where uh, designers uh, co-create or co-design with the user. So, here it is not uh, uh, understanding the user does not stop in the first phase. So, uh, that also continues in the conceptual design phase because uh, designers create the, um, uh, the, um, the design with the help of the user. So, user uh, um, understanding the user is continuation uh, is, is in the continuation with the conceptual design process as well. So, in conceptual design process user sits with the designer and they create the fir first concept. So, in that user uh, designers can give some uh, some um, uh, 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 some something written on the card and give the uh, uh, ask the user 
to sort and arrange and create their um, uh, conceptual design. So, in card sorting it can be uh, implemented in information architecture. So, all these tabs of the button and all these websites different um, pop ups and uh, buttons and what uh, links can be uh, written in a small card and uh, uh, the designer can ask the user to sort and arrange according to their mental model. So, their mental model will be uh, directly translated um, into the uh, conceptual design. So, uh, so the design will um, work better and has uh, will have more usability uh, and more uh, will be more user friendly. So, affinity diagram is also a similar process. So, in affinity uh, diagram what um, um, uh, designers ask you uh, user to do is group the similar thing together. Uh, for example, if there are some uh, um, if the website has different um, uh, tabs, so a user can group the similar uh, tabs which has similar functions uh, in one group. In uh, card sorting it was like uh, uh, users will select and pick one card and which goes with their um, uh, goes with the uh, their their uh, mental model and uh, card sorting is generally associated with some task so user uh, designer should uh, tell them to do a task or pick something for example um, this uh, for example it can be a, uh, for understanding the color uh, uh, if uh, designer can tell that uh, ask uh, the user that um, uh, whether this website goes with this kind of color or with uh, this kind of type uh, faces, then uh, user can pick that uh, particular color which goes with that and which uh, what type faces goes with the um, website. So, in card sorting it is that and in affinity diagram they start grouping together, uh, grouping the similar things together and then they create some uh, broader groups, uh, groups which helps user uh, designers to initiate uh, uh, to start uh, the conceptual design from that um, clusters and uh, the user's mental model is uh, uh, becomes more uh, clear in front of a designer's eye. So, in the next uh, design development uh, phase, it is uh, it's, uh, generally a non-linear phase. So, it is uh, again user testing and then conceptual design and then iterations and all these things uh, goes hand in hand. So, uh, in that phase also we also follow that uh, iterative method which we also designed uh, discussed earlier iterative uh, rather than the waterfall uh, model iterative model is uh, um, uh, more applicable so it's a, it's not a non uh, linear process it's a, uh, it's it's a loop uh, so we have to follow the um, uh, um, uh, uh, iterative model where we have to discuss with the user and then change our design and redesign it in that phase, the first thing can be paper prototype or wireframe, which is the low fidelity design. So, we uh, quickly design something. In this um, example, we can see some wireframing um, uh, examples of wireframes. So, these are not very uh, clearly designed um, uh, uh, design concepts. So, these are in a very conceptual level. So, uh, we can just uh, sketch or we can also use some wireframing um, web um, wireframing uh, tool um, uh, softwares, for example, Balsamic. So, there we can quickly design, um, design some sketchy informations and some um, tabs and uh, so that we uh, go with the uh, um, uh, testing uh, very quickly and uh, do um, not uh, devote much time into uh, designing the detailed thing and uh, after testing uh, the concept might be even scrapped. So, remembering that we uh, have to design it very quickly and very less time will be uh, uh, um, designers put very less time to design this just the thought process uh, which we um, uh, the designer accumulate from the analysis part is uh, translated in a very quick sketches. Then the paper prototype can be tested for example, here you can see in the photograph it is um, for an iPhone. So, in a iPhone's um, format it has been just a paper uh, prototype has been given to the uh, user and uh, uh, for user analysis. So, user can give feedback on this rather than designing a complete web, uh, complete, uh, web application complete mobile application uh, spending a lot of money and uh, time on this uh, only these wireframes can work and can give a direction to, uh, uh, to uh, what is the most usable uh, more usable um, uh, website and more usable final product. 
So uh, towards uh, um, uh, after testing uh, these things with the users, we can we um, go towards the high fidelity design and towards the implementation part. And uh, implementation part is uh, we start discussing, uh, we stop discussing with the user, and um, uh, and uh, it can uh, users feedback can be taken, but uh, the more the user um, user feedback uh, is uh, taken in. Um, uh, most of the user feed, uh, feedbacks and interviews has been taken in the previous uh, stage so that we uh, minimize our um, uh, uh, scrapping the design and redoing it. So in this uh, phase we finalize the design and start working with the only implementation part. So for example, these uh, on the right hand side, um, uh, uh, we, uh, we, uh, on the left hand side you can see a lot of conceptual uh, designs and here only the final uh, uh, design which uh, the, uh, based on the users uh, voting and also it can be focus group discussion uh, based on that a particular design has been selected and then that will be uh, translated in the into the final detailed uh, high fidelity design. So in this process also uh, we do test with the design and validation uh, validation happens. So uh, this uh, testing um, should be uh, should be uh, done from the initial st uh, stages and in the uh, first uh, conceptual stages the testing has to be done more so that we uh, avoid the error. But in the final stage also we can do the final testing and the testing uh, for testing uh, as um, we have also um, uh, we know that uh, with eye tracker we can do our testing in web design as well as in the graphic design that demonstration has been given. This was the mobile eye tracker. This is the recording uh, device for the mobile eye tracker. This uh, a battery can be attached with this and a SD card goes into this. You can wear it. This is the cable which connects the eye tracker and the recording device. Connect this. And uh, because this model is not based on Wi-Fi, so we have a cable connection between uh, the controller software which can be installed in a laptop or tab and uh, the connect, uh, th that which will connect the recording device. So this is the connection, switch it on, yeah you need to switch on this and launch the software. This is the glass controller software. So the glass controller software actually records what uh, uh, our user is looking at. So the recording device is there, there is a camera over here and there are sensors which senses the eye and uh, it signals the eye, uh, it senses the eye's position and based on that uh, the eyes position will be uh, superimposed on the record, uh, recording screen. So f to uh, calibrate the eyes position we have to uh, calibrate uh, her eye movement. The software is uh, eye track, uh, tracking device controller software which uh, shows what she is looking at and uh, it is for the recording. We also have a uh, eye tracker analysis software which uh, the demonstration will be given later. So this here we have launched the software and it says it is ready for new recording. So you click on this button, you can write the user's name and also write a brief description about the testing and create. So here we can see the uh, 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 video which is captured by uh, eye tracker. So it is the user's point of view. So first we need to calibrate so that our uh, the eyes motion is matching uh, uh, where we users are looking at. So for calibrating we are using a, a black um, circular dot so that the eye tracker uh, recognizes this dot and if uh, the user is looking at that uh, 
the eyes position and the black uh, dots position is matched. So, that we are um, uh, calibrating the eyes position in terms of the 3D uh, visual field. So, and right now whatever after the calibration whatever we are seeing the eyes position is uh, located and you can uh, see there is a uh, red uh, circular dot appearing that you can see in the middle of the uh, video. So, that is exactly where the user is looking at. So, after this we can uh, record a three, uh, video. So, as uh, we discussed that this eye tracker is the 3D eye tracker. So, uh, this is uh, wearable. So, users um, uh, wear it as a, uh, a glass and there is another version of the eye tracker which can be fixed in the uh, desktop. So, that is a, de a desktop mounted eye tracker. So, in that eye tracker only uh, that, that eye tracker captures uh, the desktop screen. Uh, and where uh, on the screen with uh, um, uh, the where the user is looking at. But here you can see uh, if the user is looking away from the device as well. So, uh, that also can be captured. So, here uh, the user is looking at the um, uh, different functions, different applications of uh, an iPad and uh, the uh, red button is um, um, uh, depicting where uh, he is looking at. In some uh, points you can see that red button is disappears and again appears in some other point. So, that is actually uh, where user is not concentrating. So, where the red button, uh, button is appearing only that part uh, user is concentrating. So, if there is a shift from red button uh, position. So, uh, those are, uh, are the parts where users are not uh, looking at and not, not concentrating on a, a visual, but just the eye uh, uh, moves from one side to another side. So, in the analysis part we will discuss uh, how uh, um, what is the uh, different uh, function of this. Uh, so, we can uh, in uh, through the analysis, uh, analysis software we can create um, a heat map. There we can understand where are the fixation points. So, these are the fixation point where users are uh, concentrating and some points will be just uh, um, use, um, eye, eyes are glancing through some points. And uh, this uh, kind of eye tracker is very important for analyzing mobile devices and tabs for desktop uh, especially we have to use desktop mounted uh, eye trackers. So, here uh, um, uh, using this eye tracker we can uh, see that uh, uh, all the function uh, uh, principles of design which we have uh, learned earlier uh, uh, are possible uh, and as well as we have uh, discussed that uh, Gutenberg's diagram and uh, uh, Jacob Nelson's F shape diagram which uh, we can be uh, we can vary, uh, validate through using that. So, here you can see the important uh, notifications are coming on the uh, bottom right uh, corner and uh, top right uh, corner is also uh, quite important. So, these are some uh, examples uh, through uh, um, uh, where user is booking a uh, going through a functional applications and after the recording is uh, done then uh, uh, user can uh, 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 you can stop uh, click on the stop button and uh, uh, the recording can be stopped and you can uh, uh, this will be ready for the new recording. So, right now after uh, the Toby uh, controller software we can um, uh, see some uh, demonstration of the uh, how the analysis software works. So, if you uh, install the analysis software and uh, open it. So, here uh, you can see uh, the uh, video of uh, what has been recorded earlier. You can see and uh, the user's um, uh, um, eye, eye location is also will be superimposed on the top of the video. In the project dashboard it, uh, if, if you look at the top uh, part. So, it gives you um, um, some options to analyze. For example, uh, it gives you uh, the uh, snapshot import. If you import the snapshot and you, it can and you, if you uh, do the visualization and it can uh, generate uh, a heat map based on the users where in which um, visual area you, uh, users have uh, looked for more uh, uh, more time and which areas I have uh, gone for lesser time. So, here also you can uh, see there are another op op uh, option uh, on the um, uh, left corner which is AOI which is area of interest. You can create some area of interest ba based on a snapshot and from the video it can track some of the uh, 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 it can recognize the similar area and it can generate uh, it can uh, generate the analysis and uh, t um, tell the uh, tell the uh, designer the how uh, for how much time they have spent from, uh, for a particular area of interest. So, we uh, will check some demonstration. 
So here uh, it's a snapshot recorded uh, from the, uh, if you have seen the previous uh, video from the similar angle you have to uh, click a snapshot of a particular uh, image which you want to, um, uh, on which you want to create a, a heat map. For that uh, on the right hand uh, corner if you can see uh, the video um, will be played and you can pause on each and every time frame of the video and the uh, location you can uh, uh, mark on the snapshot. If you have done the all, all the uh, you, uh, after uh, finishing all the marking on the uh, from the uh, video to the snapshot it will give you a uh, heat map. So, we, uh, we have already done some heat map analysis on the, uh, on the previous uh, some previous research. We have done it uh, on uh, the basis of uh, on our architectural uh, space. So, it is a three dimensional space not uh, unlike uh, the um, web application as it is a uh, variable eye tracker it can also map a 360 degree uh, visual frame. So, uh, for, for that we have taken a uh, visual uh, we have clicked a real, a real life photograph and uh, on top of that we have done a heat map analysis. So, here you can uh, see the color. So, uh, the red color depicts the user's eye has spent more time on those areas and the green color have uh, depicts uh, the user have uh, spent some uh, fewer time on this and where there is no color uh, from uh, red to green. So, user have not uh, uh, looked at those areas for the given time frame. So, this this is actually depicting uh, the uh, a particular time frame has been uh, taken under that time frame user have not uh, looked at uh, this uh, part of the sky. If you uh, change the time frame then uh, there might be some points where uh, they have looked uh, at these uh, areas of the photograph. So, for a uh, better uh, composition as we have read earlier the uh, uh, designer should try to utilize uh, most of the uh, field of uh, their vision in a 2D uh, two dimensional uh, design. So, that your all the uh, areas has some information about it, but also we have uh, discussed that some, uh, some of the negative uh, spaces where blank spaces also uh, uh, adds emphasis towards a uh, particular subject. So, uh, where uh, there uh, where you want to create a focal point you can add some blank uh, spaces around that. So, that uh, the um, um, uh, focal point gets higher emphasis. So, finally, you can get uh, export this kind of image as a visualization through eye, tra eye tracker analysis software. There is another uh, part. So, uh, there is another uh, recording which we have done earlier and similar points are uh, located if um, uh, from uh, the video to the um, image. So, another one is uh, the area of interest. In the particular image we can create some area of interest. Area of interest uh, can be created in terms of polygon. So, in a visual frame you, if you want to mar um, mark some of the particular areas where user uh, you want to uh, determine um, uh, where uh, uh, the user's attention has been drawn uh, in a particular area. So, you can create on this uh, button. So, draw button you can create some uh, polygon and you can uh, name these polygons polygon 1, 2, 3, 2 um, as much um, uh, as many as you want and then uh, on these areas if you superimpose this with the heat, heat map you can uh, generate uh, you can understand that uh, these areas uh, how much uh, visual uh, emphasis they have on a particular uh, image. So, after that you can uh, um, export this file and also uh, the, you can get a so, um, uh, uh, get this file superimposed with a heat map if you have done the heat map analysis of the same photograph uh, um, um, uh, through the uh, analysis software with eye, eye tracker uh, we can uh, understand whether the visual communication is happening properly and the way designers want or not. So, uh, through the testing uh, after everything uh, the, uh, all the process is done the validation testing is done. So, uh, before launching the website or before publishing the visual or uh, visual graphics or the brand uh, branding or uh, any kind of uh, visual design. So, uh, before launching or before, before uh, the final implementation uh, this uh, testing can be done with the eye tracker. So, thank you and in the uh, next uh, module onwards we will start discussing the detailed uh, design methodology in uh, different uh, paradigms like uh, animation, web design and graphic design. Music